All right, guys, so today I wanted to dive into the wonderful world of solos and really just spectate what the hell is happening. With Warzone World Series going on right now, I really figured people be playing better. I think I got a direct impact. Okay, I thought I killed you. He was on fire, crack his armor, hit him three more times with the hit marks, hit him three times, bail away, whatever. Anyway, look, today's video, we're gonna be solely spectating solos, solely solo, and uh, dive into the wonderful world and, and just finding out are players actually out there playing the game? Remember, you don't have to be the best player ever, but you guys can be better than what you are currently. I truly believe any player out here can be a 2KD player. I really believe that. I do. I've seen players with, I've seen old people with uh, above 2KDs, myself included. Anybody can achieve it if you just do the simple shit, like play the game, get into fights, get better at it, and then worry about winning. So let's see what happens. We're going to be paying attention to a few things in this video right now. We're going to be paying attention to looting and the speed of it with the decision making because that's going to play huge into decision making of rotations as well as decision making into actual gunfights. So hopefully he gets in some. Now remember, you guys will never become better players sitting on your ass thinking about finger banging your cousin, unfortunately. But you guys can be out there finger banging some of these people in Call of Duty getting some kills and again gathering that skill getting those reps in now when you if you guys watch world series of warzone the team that took the cake is the squad the trios that have been playing together since day one since the first tournament of warzone one so that's three years of gameplay together um so with saying that too guys look the more reps you get in with your squad with your teammates the better you guys will operate together so they can go on and just play better together, get better stats, whatever you guys want, or even if you're interested in tournaments, jumping into that as well. But we hear footsteps right now. Let's go ahead and turn this up. We hear footsteps above us. Okay, the guy's instantly crouch walking. Because now we don't hear shit. And we're crouch walking in response, because fuck that dude. We, we He can't be the only one crouch walking in this building. This is our building. Now look, we're sitting here crouch walking and, and we should be sound whoring, so open those crates. You know, some people be like, I don't want to open this crate, Savage, because then they'll know I'm there. Well, he already knows you're here too because he's crouch walking. If you remove those crates, you, there's a chance you might hear footsteps. Might actually be on a rooftop or in this room. Boom. I don't like the fact that he crouch walk as long as he did, but he did get the kill. Now, some people look at this and be like, Savage, I told you crouch walk is the way. Just like our boy Raymond, why don't you guys crouch walk your way over to the subscribe button. Also drop a like on the video. Let's get this video to 300 likes. And if you guys wanna watch these shenanigans take place live on stream, make sure you guys utilize the QR code on the screen to join us over on kick. Well, let's get back into the shit. But remember, if this player was just as observant as you, if you're getting third partied, if the enemy would have even had a reaction, you probably would have got completely shit on. All right, we're sitting on 12 grand, dude. Let's uh, let's go ahead and make our way to a loady. Maybe get our load out early, which would be great. Or if you want to wait for your free loady, just get some UAVs and just post up whatever you guys want to do. There's so many options when it comes to the war zone. You can build momentum in different ways, whether it's momentum on getting your loady fast, getting in the kills fast, or just momentum with stocking up for things to play passive and play positionings. There are different ways and things you guys can do. You just have to have the mindset of what type of player are you benefiting as is it an aggressive player? Is it a more passive player? And also, do you have the capability to switch that switch that lever? Should push come to shove and you have to get out of your passive stance and get aggressive. You don't have to be the most aggressive in the world. A lot of the teams in World Series were playing very position heavy. And at the end of the day, that's how you win games is by playing position. But the one thing that stands between them and you guys is the fact that when shit gets wild and they have to fight two, three, four teams at the same time, or they get pushed off into a bad spot because of precision, they can flip that switch and turn it up and get aggressive. And I say all that to say, why the fuck are we still in this building five and a half minutes into this game? There are now 71 players left. Half the lobby has gone away and we're sitting on $17,000 and he's still looting. What are you looting for? Trying to find Jesus? He ain't in the box, I promise you that. He's with us all, Savage. I mean, I, I say it all the time, and it, you know, it's kind of an asshole thing to say, but I'm gonna say it. I couldn't imagine coming home from a long day's work, coming home from a long day at school, you get on the game because your wife's bitching at you, your husband's bitching at whatever the case is, you just had a rough day, and you decide, I wanna relax and play COD. And then you do this for seven minutes. This is, at this point, I think you're more beneficial playing multiplayer because at least you're getting some action. 
Also, guys, what a great way to warm up. Play a multiplayer. Playing Plunder if it's available. Playing a Sheikah, things like that. Um, or even playing in a custom lobby against bots. There are different ways you guys can get warmed up before you jump into here. But I'm telling you right now, you're a lot more aggressive than this dude. But here we are rocking the MP7. Also, another thing too, guys, look. Use whatever gun you want. I'm not gonna sit here and be your, be your dad or your mom. But if you're not using the meta weapons, and I'm speaking from hard-headed example and, as well, because I'm one of those guys that I refuse to use the meta half the time. Um, if you're not using the meta, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Truly, truly. The MP7 is not a bad gun. It's a great gun. And I don't want to hear, but Savage, I dropped 20 with it. I know. Look, if you're if you're a good player, you can get kills with any gun. For your, for your normal players out there, do be using something that's meta-based, whether it's the pistols, whether it's the ISO 45, whether it's the Vaznev, whatever the meta happens to currently be or something close to it, that's what you should be using. All right, pulled up his map, I'm assuming, which is why he's staring at the ground. And now we're going to push it. All right, all right. I like it. Raymond kind of turned up a little bit, feeling a little bit more comfortable. But again, look at the money situation. Look at the buy next to us. So if you're approaching a bounty, you want what? You want a UAV. You got to get a UAV. It's what you want. It helps you. Like, yeah, we know where he's at. But if we have a UE, we can push this more effectively. We can find out what floor he's on. Is he above us? Is he below us? Is he on our level? Are there other enemies holding angles to where I can't fight that? Because I'm going to find it funny as hell if he gets sniped from another rooftop. Because notice, he hasn't even looked once at the rooftop up here. He's just, he's locked in, tunnel vision on the enemy. This is just a huge mistake. Also, not to mention, this is a bad vantage point. As a sniper, I want to get to that roof or that roof. There's a zip line on the left-hand side of the building right there. There's a zip line over here, and there's one right here. Again, I want elevation as a sniper. I don't like that he's wanting to go to the buy right here. I'm, I'm good with buying, but we should have done that earlier. My fear now is that the enemy with the bounty is going to get a vantage point. We might put ourselves in a disadvantage. And also, right here, know the map layout. There's a zip line on the right-hand side of the building. You get to the rooftop way faster using zips. The enemy's probably, if he's making his way there, he's probably already there. And we've now allowed him to gain the best vantage point. Remember, we're a sniping class. So you have to think from the mindset of a sniper. And here he is again, going back to the crouch walking. Now look, the enemy knows you're close. Why? Because he's three barred now. There's three bars on his screen. He knows you're close and he's probably doing the same shit you are. Nope, he's running away now. Dude fucking dipped. But thank God we're crouch walking really helped us win this fight. So for all of those of you out there that were so dick hard, whenever the guy crouch walking got a kill, this is the situation you don't do this in. Remember, take advantage point. Get on the rooftop. There are multiple zips and multiple ways to get up to these rooftops. There's no reason for this bitch to be sitting here doing this. But on the plot twist, where do you think he's at? I think he's ground level because he was able to go from this roof to this roof without any parachutes, anyone floating around, not running past us. He just went from one side to the other. So I think the dude's on ground level. Raymond's not really analyzing anything. He's just basically aimlessly walking around. It's literally what he's doing waiting for the enemy to come to him or reveal himself which he now has and again look at the elevation difference i don't know where he's getting shot at and imagine the rooftop maybe on the ledge where he's looking but regardless he's at a higher ground so you can play that heady way more efficiently solos is really good for players to get better just because it puts you in 1v1 situations and there's no reason we should be 11 minutes into the game and have only seen one enemy finding enemies is the number one issue that i get messages from players on people always say oh you're gonna you're gonna shoot that with come get flinch bro come on bro come on bro the number one thing i'm always dm'd is savage i can never find players and that's you know that's an understandable that's an understandable issue but whatever you're doing currently or have been doing for the past three years is clearly not the way so you need to change it and I promise you, if you can only find one or two players a whole game, you're playing way too fucking passive. Shit. All right, we got to go back and find this dude. So remember where he's at. Actually, let's move on from Raymond. Let's go find some sweats. All right, here we are. Let's see. Where would I go if I was a sweat? Yeah, I'd go here. All right. So really what I'm looking for is players moving around, actively pushing, maybe smoke grenades, meaning there's a fight. This indicator of something actually going on. The last thing I'll do is camp, uh, spectate another camper. UAV up. We can't see his pings, unfortunately. He's getting advanced up. He's got the money. Why not? Fuck. God, dude, where did you get the money? 
Did he call it four UAVs just now? Dude, he got money for days. He just bought four UAVs and legit still has $45,000. This is going to be a good... This, I'm glad we got jailbreak. Let's go. There's a sniper. All right, so the enemy's forced to play. You see him retreat instantly to the building, going inside. He could have been playing the backside. The mini-map kind of went weird on us. That's dirty, bro. My man's seat swapped. Dude just ran right to us. I don't think he would have hit us, but good job anticipating the enemy trying to ram us and just going inside, playing it safe. Oh, enemy had a great position. Somehow it only did a fraction of health. Oh, these things are disgusting. What blows my mind about metas like this is don't get twisted. They're fun. But we've been through the snake shot meta before in Warzone 1. It was broken then and it's broken now. What's crazy is you know they know it's broken because they banned it from rank, but they still refuse to fix it. Look at the difference in this player's and, and the first guy we're spectating. You see a difference? Now look at the difference in kills. Do you see the difference? And I know you guys are sitting here like, Savage, I can't play like that. I'm a bot. He's way better than me. Have you ever tried playing like this? Oh, oh, footsteps, footsteps, footsteps. I can't believe he just did that. I couldn't, I had to close my eyes. I had to look away. I had to look away. That was ballsy, my guy. That was so fucking ballsy. So ballsy. Oh my God. Why would you do that? Nah, I know Mewtwo's good. That was just, that was, that was, that was not a good call. He's going back for vengeance with a pistol. Oh! Woo! I'm not going to say, I, I, didn't, I didn't doubt him for a second, but I knew he's going to win that. All right, still sitting on the same amount of money. We're walking this. Let's see. Yeah, he's sticking with the sniper. Got the advance, got the precision, ready to go. So yeah, see the difference in gameplay, guys. He didn't make the roof. Try playing like this with some momentum. I put out a video you literally a couple days ago talking about momentum. Momentum. But play the game as if you are this guy. Play like he does. Play aggressive. Run around. Look for kills. Do that for about a month, and I promise to God, you guys will become better players. And that's not some dumbass intro finesse. Like, watch my video, we'll become better players. Like, that's not what it is. And I'm telling you guys for facts. If you guys play with some animosity and some motherfucking anger, and you play like a, a bat cracked out of hell, dude, you'll you'll surprise yourself, dude. You really will. Oh. Good shots by your boy. Damn. When you guys play aggressive, that will happen to you. And I know it's happened to a lot of you guys. And then you stop playing aggressive. You're like, that didn't work, Savage. Do it again. And then again. And then again. And then again. Just because you have a few bad games doesn't mean it's not the right strat, guys. You just have to adjust something. You have to change something. Either A, just... I mean, that was unavoidable. You didn't know he was up there. He was, all, he was ghosted off UAV. You can't predict someone just be staring at a zip line. You just fucking can't. Dwarf tape pissa. He's gotta be cheating. I don't know how to fuck what his name even means. He's gotta be cheating, clearly. Enemy did a good job just fucking utilizing smoke to cross. I'm glad to see people utilizing smokes more often now. Makes me happy. We only saw one enemy, but because he threw his smoke, I'm starting to wonder if there's actually two up here and that's why he smoked out. Maybe they were in a fight before. I'm not sure, but I'm not just gonna be... What the fuck am I watching? Yeah, no. Oh man, good stuff. This is the raddiest player in the history of Warzone. Rocking the riot shield and 
fuck a shotgun. Now, how do you combat a riot shielder? Well, you can't. The dude stuck him with two fucking thermites. He still didn't die. And yeah, you can do... Uh, but Simtex is savage. I, I don't know. You can what if all day, but what are the odds you're going to have two Simtexes on you in game? Unless you have restock. There's a lot of what ifs that go into that. I'm about to say, if he goes back to the high ground, he might actually be a, it might actually be a little, little sweat demon. If he gets that aggressive. I probably would put a little bit more respect on him if he went up the zip. But... Of course he isn't. He literally missed an enemy running right at him. How do you not see him is just beyond me. Get to the new he got a zone. zip. He's got stuns. I don't know if he has restock or not. Let's see what happens. Wait, he's able to hold that out while zipping? Are you fucking serious? Suck a dick, Tyrone. You're fucking trash. I love that. Let's go, baby. Guys, if you enjoyed watching that dude, Tyrone, die as much as me, make sure you leave this video a like. Subscribe to the channel today. And don't forget to follow me over on Kick by clicking this QR code right here. And also, if you want to continue to become a better player at Warzone, make sure you check this video out right here. Y'all be good, and I'll catch you in the next one.